Job 3.16 The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. Good on, um, give me, uh, give me Luke chapter 12, verse 1. Luke 12, verse 1. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable, innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trod one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Come, come, the most high. Yahweh Shah, he's make he's addressing the fact that when he when he comes forth with the word, that we have to be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees, those that's going to try to yeah you an Edomite going straight to hell you gonna be my slave in that good 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 I'm, you to be the first that's a that's an Edomite right there. The devil always want to come out when the word of God come out. We are here to edify our people in his truth. He want to he wanted try to down our truth as sons, kings of the Most High. God should know to find out about his destination. He should know that the Most High loved Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he know that Jacob's twin brother Esau, he hated. God. Read again. Luke 12 and 1. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trolled one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. The Most High is addressing that when he spoke, when he, every time he brought the truth out, those that was edified in the truth to want to hear it, they trampled over each other. They were, they, were, they were doing everything in their power to get to this truth, to hear what the Most High had to say, um, Akadon, read Luke verse five, verse one. Five and one. Uh, Luke five and one. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of Elohim, he stood by the lake of Gensaret Gen Gen and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were and were the washing their nets. Uh, Con Luke five fifteen. I'm, 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 we building what we doing? We 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 bringing out the word to build to why the people were stumbling over themselves trying to hear the Most High and to beware of the leaven of the Pharisee. Read Luke five fifteen. Uh, Luke five and fifteen. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Con, the people was, they believed in the Most High. They wanted to come out to hear the word of God so they can be healed in their infirmities. So, so they repent and, and seek the Most High in all your truth. Turn away from your wicked ways and the Most High shall see that you in your heart will be, you be repenting in your heart, bro. Turn away from the wicked ways. The Most High don't want you like that. You're a man. You're a king. All right, read Luke 6, 17. Right. Luke 6 and 17. And he came down with them and stood in the plain in the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all of Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea of coast, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with an unclean spirits, and they were unclean, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought, sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. Con, con, those that believe in the Most High, hear the word of the Most High, know they're going to be healed by His word. They're going to be, they, they're going to be, they, the diseases and the, the plagues that was overtaking them. They know that if they just get close enough to Him, hear His word, and touch Him that they will be healed. 
bring out uh, Matthew 6, 6, 16, verse 6, huh? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 6. Then Yehoshua said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. He, he wanted us to beware because we know that the Pharisees, Sadducees, they hated Yehoshua. They hate that he was bringing the truth. They was beating down the people that wanted to hear the truth. They, they wasn't giving the people the truth for the Most High. They wasn't healing the people the Most High. That's why they, they went against the Most High. They saw that the Most High, Yahweh, the people was being healed by him. All the diseases and plagues that was overtaking them, they were being healed just hearing the word, just touching them, being close to him. They know that we, they would be uh, oh, not overtaken with the, the, the famine and disease of the, of the land, but be healed by him. Yeah. Bring up Matthew 10, verse 26, huh? Gadon, after we bring out, uh, have Matthew 10, verse 32. Matthew 10, Matthew 10 and 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that, ye, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Con, con, con. I want you to read that again. Uh, read it again. Matthew 10 and 26. Fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach you upon housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy the both, both soul and body in hell. The Most High is so powerful. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach is so powerful that there's nothing that's going to be said and spoke of that will be hid from him. There's nothing, you can, you can go in the darkest place in the, the, the deepest crevice of the mountains and, and hide and you can't speak blasphemy against the Most High. You can't do these things. The Most High destroys the body and the soul. So fear that one that fear that can destroy the body and the soul. So we must repent and keep the laws and the commandments of the Most High. We must speak righteously of him because he comes to heal. Not to destroy, but those that don't hear his word, those don't hearken to the word of the Most High, he will destroy. Um, Luke chapter 2. Oh, bring it out, Akkawi. Bring it out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. The Most High want us to confess his righteousness. He want us to praise his name. He don't want us to talk down on our brothers and sisters. To talk against, to talk against your brothers and sisters in his truth is talking against the Most High. We're going to be condemned for that. Read again, Ah. Right? Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. All those heathens that want to deny the Most High, he going to deny you. Those that don't confess him, he's not. He's, he's going to confess that you never knew him. So you must keep the words of the Most High in your hearts. You must keep this truth in your hearts. You can't lie on him. You can't speak evil of him. Because if you do, he's going to see you in that same light. And your prayers will not be heard. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 2. For if there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the air in closets shall be proclaimed among the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, 
be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, have no more that they can do. They can't do no more than what they can do to your body. They can, they can bring hurt and harm to the body, but they cannot bring hurt and harm to the soul. The most I say, and I shall, uh, it says, and I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. We should not have no fear when we walk with the most high. We should not fear man that the most high will have his due justice with evil. He says he'll pay evil for evil. We, we, don't, we don't have to worry about man doing anything to our body because to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. Bring out um. Luke chapter 12, verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath the power, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Fear the Lord. Fear the Most High. Walk in the upright of the Most High. Those Edomites that deny the Lord, the Lord will deny you. She said she'll see us in hell. That's the second person that said that today. Second Edomite that said that. I'll see you. You know where you're going because you're, you're a devil, us. you demon. We're going to have the kingdom next. You know that, right? You know the Most High hates Esau. God. He loves Jacob, but he hates Esau. God. Esau, think y'all think y'all running the world? Y'all running yourself straight to hell. Look at Russia. Look at Ukraine. Y'all going to blow us up. The Most High going to use you. To be destructive as you are. Luke 12 and 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath the power to cast into hell. Hold it. He going to cast you in your hell when you kill. Y'all think y'all have a pass on earth? Y'all don't have no pass. Y'all fooling yourselves. God. You fooling yourselves, Edomite. You fooling yourselves, Esau. Out here on the Sabbath day, breaking the commandments, the Most High took us into captivity. But we're gonna have the we're gonna have the kingdom next. So just just bank on that. If you pray to God, you pray to hell. You pray to Satan. You Satan seeds. You're not real. You perpetrators of the truth. You cover yourselves with sin. You covered your brothers and sisters' sin. Y'all don't know, have no truth in your heart. Walk around like everything good. Know where your ass is at. The most I have that in hand. Luke 12 and 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? and not one of them is forgotten for God, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are, more ye are of more value than many sparrows. These Edomites don't love themselves. They don't think that the Most High know the numbers of hairs on their head. They don't think that the Most High see they evil. They don't think that they, the Most High don't under know that they took us in captivity. They don't believe. They thinking that the Most High is false. They think we they think he's fake. They think he's phony because they believe in Satan. They unrepentant. They have no righteousness in their heart. They have no good in their minds and their souls. They think the most high is a joke. I got a precept. Bring the precept by this, this is a precept. This is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Hallelujah! Read Proverbs 14, 26 up. Proverbs 14, 26. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 22. 14, Proverbs 14, 26. Jeremiah 5 and 26. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. We're going to have to The Most High have a place for us. He have a place of refuge for us. We keep his script. We keep his laws and commandments. We're going to be safe. We repent. We repent of our sins. We don't walk around like we, we proud and perfect. We know that we fall short of the Most High. 
and the glory of the Most High. That's why we keep his commandments. That's why we keep his precepts. That's why we keep his Sabbaths. Because we know we have a refuge unto him. Jeremiah 5 and 22. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass? And thou the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. They will not pass over it. They cannot get by the Most High in His, in his laws and His commandments. God, He watches over everything. He sees everything. Read that. Read that, read that chapter again. I, I, Gadon. Jeremiah five and twenty-two. Fear ye not me? Do you fear not the Lord your God? They don't have no fear. They think that the Most High don't see the evils that they speak of Him. They think that the Most High don't know the evils that they do unto us. Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh? Will ye not tremble at my presence? Will you not tremble at the presence of the Most High? Will you not bow down and repent of the sins of the Most High? We know how. Which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual degree? The Most High placed everything in order. He know every grain of sand by the seashore. He set the mountain high in place. He set the valleys low in place. He knows every hair on your head. Good. That it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. The, the ocean waters, the seas, they, can, they won't go beyond the point of the Most High taking it where it should not go. If the Most High want these waters to rise, to overtake the earth, he can do that. He's flooded the earth before. He's going to destroy it this time with fire. Good. Though they roar, yet they can yet can they not pass over it. The, the seas and oceans roar. They they threatening. When them, when them, when them ocean waves get 30, 40 feet high, you can't go against that. You can't go against the nature, the wrath of the most high. If you're scared of the ocean seas and the waves, why not fear Yahweh and power? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 7. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to thee doth it, per, doth it pertain, appertain. For as much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. Luke 12 and 6. Are you not, are not five sparrows so for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before Elohim? Come on, come on, come on. The, the Most High is talking about fact that the sparrows are not five sparrows sold for two farlings. And not one of them is forgotten before the Most High, Yahweh. He sees everything. If five sparrows fall, five sparrows are sold, anything that's out of order with the Most High, he sees these things. He knows these things. Bring them up. But even the but even the very hands of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are more valued. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. The Most High knows every strand of hair on our head. All numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are more value than many sparrows. If the, if the Most High see that number that know the numbers of hairs on your head, and one sparrow falls and dies, he sees it. He knows it. Read on, uh. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of Elohim. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of Elohim. The Most High going to deny those that deny him. The angels not going to be able to take place to cover us because the Most High going to set those angels against us that deny him. We must keep this truth for the Most High. We must walk in this truth for the Most High. We must do the things of the Most High and walk in them. Bring out, I'm, bring out Matthew 10 and 32. Matthew 10 and 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess I also before my Father which is in heaven. The Most High is setting in place 
over and over to confess him before men. We stand out here on the Sabbath day confessing the Most High unto men so that our prayers can be heard unto the Most High. But when we deny him, the Most High will deny us. Bring, out it, bring it out, Op. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. The Most High not going to forgive you when you speak against him. The Most High not going to forgive you when you speak against his sons and daughters. God, and truth, we confess him before men. We praise him before men. So you have to walk in the countenance of the Most High. You can't talk against them. You can't talk against us when we bring it out the, the, the scriptures of the Most High. We bring in light into a dark place. We walk in upright in His truth, in His in His light, in His word. This is. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 11. And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto magistrates and powers, take ye, ne take ye no thought how or what thing you shall answer or what you shall say. Con, con, con. They're going to accuse us of things, those that don't believe in the Most High. We can keep our peace till the hour comes to speak what we have to speak unto those that bring us to the magistrates, bring us into the synagogues. Read, um, read Luke 12, 11 again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 11. And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto the magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing you shall answer or what ye shall say. Con, con. We don't have to worry about defending ourselves when we're in this truth. The Most High going to give us the words we need to speak at the time and the hour that we're accused by, by, by those that don't believe in him. They thinking that they going to lie. They thinking that they're going to do things to put us in situations that the Most High not going to be able to hear. He hears and sees everything. All we have to do is stick to the script, stick to confessing all that we have unto him. The Most High see what they do. If, if he sees five sparrows that are sold, we're more worth than those five sparrows. If a, if a sparrow falls to the ground, we're worth more than that, that sparrow. He know every hair on our head. Luke 12 and 12. For the Holy Ghost shall teach ye in the same hour what ye ought to say. The Holy Ghost of the Most High is going to teach us what to say in the hour of um, being tormented or being brought to justice in, a, in an unjust world. They're going to keep to the laws and the commandments of the Most High. He's going to judge them for what they do to us to put us in situations. We don't have to try to talk our way out of it, try to work our way out of it. The Most High is going to work it out because they, they may harm the body, but they can't harm the soul of us that believe in the Most High. Luke 12 and 12. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Con, con, con. They're not going to be, even when we speak the truth and we they speak against us. They're not going to be able to call against us. They're going to try it, but it won't work. The Most High see what they're doing. They see the unjust because they don't profess the Most High. The Most High is not going to cover them in their faults and flaws when they, when, they, when they accuse us of things that's not of him. Bring it out, Op. Right? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we, did, if we this day be examined of the good deed 
then to the impot impotent man, by what means is by what means he, he is made whole? Known unto you all and to all people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ, Yahweh of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, with, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Con, 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 con. We don't have to worry about what the naysayers say, what they do, bringing us in, bringing us to, uh, to judge us for something that they accuse us of. We just have to set our hearts and minds on the most high. We have to set our hearts and minds on Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. He going to save us. He going to give us the words to speak. He going to justify us because no one can bear our sin against the world. No one but Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. God, God. Give me Matthew. Give me this is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 28. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath, hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Be because they said he hath an unclean spirit. Those that come against us, speak against us, speak against the Most High, speak against the children of the Most High, they're going to be, that's like blasphemy when we lie, when we, when we make up things to, to suffer our brothers and sisters in this truth. They will be dealt with by the Most High. The Yahweh Shah will deal with them. Read that again, huh? Mark 23, 28, 29. The book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 28. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. Hold it right there. The Most High going to be a forgiver of the sons of men that confess him before men. We're going to be forgiven for our shortcomings because we confess. We know we're not perfect. We know we don't do all things according to the Most High, but we can call it and, and repent of those things because we know they're not right. We all fall short of the glory of the Most High. Read on, huh? And blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. They're going to they gonna lie. When you lie against the Most High, when you speak against the Most High, it's blasphemy. There's no, re there's no forgiveness of blasphemy against the Most High. You can't, how are they going to repent? How are they going to ask for forgiveness when they set the Most High's up, sons and daughters up for failure to be hurt? The Most High going to forgive us because we keep the word. We repent of the word. We confess his word. Read on. Uh. Verse 29. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness. He don't have no forgiveness in his heart. The same way Esau have no forgiveness in his heart. They're not going to own what they do. They're going to lie about what they do. They're going to lie on the sons and daughters of the Most High. While we confessing the sins of these upper nations that come against us, the Most High going to deal with them. Because they lie on us. They do us the most harm. But we can stay in the script, stay in this word, the most high will redeem us. He does not re he does not forgive a person that blasphemes him or those that confess him unto all. Read on. Huh? But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. He, that person is, read it again. Huh? But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. That person is in trouble. God. Damnation waits for those that go against the Most High's sons Jewel. and the Most High's daughters. They blaspheme, they liars. The Most High hates a liar. You can't lie against the Most High's sons. You can't lie against the Most High's daughters and think that you're going to be repentant. The Most High has damnation waiting for you. God. Matthew 10 and 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. This is what Yahweh Shah done when they arrested him 
accusing him of being the king of the Jews. He told them to do what they had to do. He didn't, he didn't try to save himself. He didn't try to speak out and, 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 and cater to the words that they was accusing him of. He was an innocent man. They accused him and, and, and they charged him of things he didn't do because he was professing the word of God. And he confessed it and they didn't like it because they lied on him. They put him in a situation where they thought they were doing away with him. But all he, was, all he did was to sit onto the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. Luke 12 and 12. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in that same hour what ye ought to say. The Holy Ghost is going to help us. We got to remember that when the Most High, he's now Yahweh Hamashiach, he's sitting on the right hand of the Most High. He's sitting there because he carried out everything that the Most High wanted him to do. He, he, didn't, he didn't come to do away with the prophets and the laws. He came to fulfill them. He said he would not leave us comfortless. He left us the Holy Ghost. So we keep out, we keep with the Most High and upright with the Most High, confessing the Most High, and we walk with him. The Holy Ghost will be for us. He will speak for us when it's the time and the need of the hour that needs to be spoken. Read it on. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. They won't be able to resist the truth. They're going to be convicted in their hearts for lying. The Most High is going to deal with them. God. The Most High is going to set them straight. God. We just have to stay upright in this truth with the Most High. We must just continue to walk in this truth with the Most High. They're going to do all matters of evil against us. They're going to set not with us to cause us to fall, to cause us to be in situations that only the Most High is going to be able to deliver us out of it. The Holy Ghost going to give us the, the words to speak when we don't know what to say in the times that they uh, convict us or uh, bring lies to, uh, to bring discord among us. So we must walk in this truth. Continue to confess who you are in the Most High. Continue to confess who the Most High is to you in this truth. And he will speak for you. He will cover you. He will guard you. He will guide you. He will lead you. He will protect you in the Most High name. Hallelujah. 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 